Tiara, are you there? Answer me right now. I demand to know what on earth you were thinking. Being out this late. Do you have any clue? Any clue at all what time it is right now? You are being so irresponsible and careless with your things. Your room is a disaster zone, a total catastrophe, and you still aren't home to clean it up at all. What is going on in your head? Do you have any sense of duty or respect? You do realize that now that you're married, it is your sacred obligation to make sure that your house is kept immaculate and orderly, don't you? Hi, Luciana. I'm sorry, but what is all of this nonsense that you're spewing at me right now? That's way too much text to digest, and I'd appreciate it if you could just get to the point and tell me what's the problem. Well, I decided to do you a favor and visit my son's house and see how he is doing with his new wife. And imagine my horror when I walked inside and saw the state of the house that my poor boy is living in. What do you call this mess, huh? Is this how you treat your home? You should be ashamed of yourself, Tiara. How can you even tolerate living like this? It's just appalling. What is wrong with you, Tiara? I'm really sorry that you were offended at the way our house looks when you came over without any notice, Luciana. But the truth is that I'm extremely busy with work these days, and so I can only do what I can. But the other thing you should know is that most of the mess in our house was made by Sam. So I'm not the one that you should be lecturing about this. After all, I only managed to do a little bit of cleaning during the few precious hours that I have on the weekends. I wish that I could do more, but I just don't have enough time in the week to devote to keeping my house spotless. You don't have enough time? Do you have any idea how ridiculous you sound right now? You're just making up lame excuses for yourself. Listen to me. The reality is that you are married now, you're someone's wife, and you need to accept that. I mean, you may be working now, but your main job should be taking care of the house and your husband. You do understand that, don't you? You think that my first priority should always be to keep my house pristine and cater to my husband? I'm sorry, but I'm just not sure if I share that view at all. Besides, if Sam has any issues with the way that we're living, he hasn't mentioned anything to me about it. So I think that I must be doing enough for him as it is, or else I'm sure that Sam would have let me know by now. So while I do appreciate your concern about the state of Sam and I's marriage, I really think that there's nothing to be alarmed about at all. You really have no clue what you're talking about at all, do you? Nothing of what you said changes the fact that you are married and have different responsibilities than before when you were unmarried. I understand perfectly what you're saying, Luciana. What I am saying is that my marriage is between my husband and me, and you don't get to make orders for me. I'm not talking about Sam at all. So, you stop bringing him up and trying to use him as a shield to hide behind, okay? I'm doing my duty, as your mother-in-law, to make sure that you are taking care of my son and doing your job as his wife. You think that Sam knows how to judge whether or not a wife is doing what she should be doing? Of course not. That's why it's my job, as your mother-in-law, to make sure that you're doing everything right. Because it is clear to me that neither you nor Sam have your expectations set right. And it is my job to make sure that you loom your duty as my son's wife. So stop telling me, bring up my son, and tell me that the messes are his, or that he doesn't have any complaints. You don't get to badmouth your husband ever. Do you hear me? So I guess I should just shut up, serve Sam like a slave, and let you dictate how my marriage should be going. You really have some gal talking to me like this. Do you have any idea? I knew that you were going to be a disaster for my son. But I didn't know that you were going to be such a spoiled brat. And even now you're just out on the town having a blast and completely neglecting your duties to your husband right now. You don't tell me that you're doing all you can when you're out having fun right now. And just who told you anything about me being out having fun, huh? You are making that up completely in your mind, Luciana. I am out working right now. If you really want to know, I told you that I'm swamped and I meant it. You really think that you can just tell me that you're working and have that be enough for me to trust you and leave you be? I'm not going to let myself be deceived by you 
at all. There is no chance that you're working right now. I'm not going to buy your little lie. I am not lying to you at all, Luciana. If you don't want to believe me, then that is your problem. But don't you dare call me a liar. I have a second job that I have to work at night for, and I have to work this in order to help with our family's bills. That is why I am always too busy to do things like clean the house or do the laundry. I am just too busy with my jobs to be able to do the housework on top of that. There you go again, making up all sorts of excuses. Just because you don't want to admit that you're a failure of a wife who needs help from her mother-in-law. I already told you that I am not making excuses. Luciana, why are you being this way towards me? I just don't get where you get off. You know, I didn't just show up to your place uninvited. If you really want to know, it was Sam who asked me over. Actually, he told me that this place was a total mess and that he needed me to come over right away. He told me that he can't bear living like this anymore and wanted my assistance. Can you believe that? Your husband feels so lonely and desperate about his living situation that he turned to his mother and not you. Don't you think that tells you a lot about what you need to know? But then he begged me not to say a word of any of this to you because he actually thinks that you're sweet and loving. If you can believe it, he didn't want you to know anything about this. But I was not going to sit back and let you just get away without realizing just what you're doing to your poor husband. So that's what's really happening here then, is it? I really don't know why Sam just couldn't have been a little more understanding with me. I already told him that I would clean the house as soon as I got a chance, and that there was nothing to fret about at all. I have no clue what you're talking about at all. You really expect me to believe that you were ever going to take care of this mess? If you were going to do it, then you would have done it by now. That much is clear to me. But now it's obvious that you need to be taught about what being a good wife entails. You are a lazy bum who is exploiting your husband. And I'm not going to tolerate that any longer. Are you even paying attention to the messages that I've been sending you? If you're not even going to hear what I'm trying to tell you, then I think this conversation is done. I am going to have a serious talk with Sam about all of this and let him know just how I feel about you barging into our house and judging me like this. I really just can't stand that you're doing this again, Tiara. When are you going to wise up? Huh? I mean, do you really think it's acceptable for you to be out this late when you're a married woman? Don't you realize the harm you're doing to your marriage by being this self-centered? You're just a disgrace to my family, as far as I'm concerned. What is it this time, Luciana? What do you really want? What is it that you're bothering me about now, huh? I am fed up with getting these kinds of messages from you. I just mean that every single day this week, you have been out all night doing God knows what, and you are completely neglecting the work that needs to be done at your house. You really are such an irresponsible girl, and you need someone to show you some discipline. But I have been over this every week, and I can't even say that I'm surprised by you anymore. Wait a minute. Have you really been coming over to our house every single day this week? What are you doing that you need to come over to our house so often? And if you're going to be doing that, I would really appreciate it if you'd message me in advance about you coming over. Although, if you really must know, I have made sure that the house is much, much cleaner than it was a few days ago. Actually, the reason that I've been coming over is to try and see how you're doing. I just need to know whether or not you're still someone who deserves to be married to my son. Excuse me, you can't be serious about that, right? Are you really saying you're coming over to try and evaluate me or something? I'm just doing what any good mother would, and making sure that their son's wife is up to the standard that she should be. Is that really so wrong? Did you really just ask if that's wrong for you to judge your son's wife? Yes, of course that's wrong. Well, that is what I was afraid that you would say. Although... Just from the times I've come over and the conversation we've had, it's obvious to me that you are, in fact, not good enough to be with my son. But 
You should also know that I've taken it upon myself to throw away all your belongings from here. So you shouldn't even bother coming back home here. Now that you never spend any time in your own home anyway, you're always doing who knows what. You really ought to be embarrassed of yourself. I mean, do you think this is any way for a married woman to be behaving? Don't you feel sorry for your husband at all? I'm sure that there are a million other women out there who would be a much better fit for Sam. Wait a second. Did you really just tell me that you threw away my stuff? Please tell me that you were joking about that. Did you really do that? Of course I did it. You think that I would lie to you about that? Unlike you, I'm not all talk. I act, too. <laughs> for the final time. I am telling you that I am not out partying or whatever it is that you think I spend my nights doing. Luciana, I am literally working my second job that I need to do in order to support the two of us. But you took my being out of the house tonight as a sign that you could just throw away all of my things? How could you do that to me? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with me? I want to know what is wrong with you. Is that what you think? You can go wander around doing whatever you want at all hours of the night. I only did this because it was evident that you weren't going to be changing your night roaming ways anytime soon. I tried to warn you, but you just wouldn't listen to me. You left me no other choice but to take matters into my own hands. Have you been paying attention to any of these messages that I've been sending you? Why is it like I'm trying to talk to a stone wall when it comes to you? I have told you over and over and over again that I am not going out at night to enjoy myself or party or hang out with friends or anything at all like that. I am out every single night because I am busy working. Don't you understand that? I am working to support my husband and me, in fact. I don't care how many times you say the same thing over and over and over to me because I know that every time you do is nothing but a lie. You're a liar. And you're making my husband work all day and night so that you could do whatever you please. You just want to take advantage of Sam and have him pay for your wild lifestyle. Confess it. Or don't. I don't care. It doesn't matter at all to me anymore now that I've thrown out all your stuff. You're not welcome back to that house anymore. Do you hear me? You are on your own from here on, Tiara. Well, fine then. I guess you can go ahead and wish Sam good luck when he only earns about $300 a month. Wait, what? What is that supposed to mean? Why would you say that? He only earns $300 a month? What in the world are you talking about? You know what? I am not going to continue with this conversation anymore. I don't even know why I bother with you to begin with. In fact, I already am starting to feel as if a huge burden is being lifted off of my shoulders now that you've kicked me out. It's like I'm finally free. I'll even do you one better and tell you that Sam and I are going to be getting a divorce now. Go ahead and let him know that we are done. Now you wait there for just a second. You and I aren't done here until I say that we are done. Now you go back and tell me exactly what you meant when you said that he only makes $300 a month. That doesn't make any sense at all. And you will clarify yourself right now. You mean you're finally starting to hear what I'm trying to tell you? Well, it's about time. Actually, I think it's a bit too late if you really want to know. But if you want to know the truth about what's happening, you would be better off asking Sam yourself. Got it? All I've done is tell you the truth about what I've been doing. But you just refuse to listen to me. But the facts of the matter are that I haven't been the one going out and partying every night. That has actually been your son. Hold on just a second there. You must be getting the number wrong. There's no way that my son is making such little money. Surely you meant to say that he's earning $300 a week, right? Did you really think that I was going to believe that lie? How dare you keep trying to shift the blame for everything on my son? You have really got some audacity. Just what is even the purpose of doing that? Huh? What do you think you have against him? That you need to keep lying to me about you two. You want to talk about trying to shift the blame onto people? You were the one who threw away all of my stuff to try and get me to break up with Sam, right? Well, guess what? 
You've succeeded. Congrats. You're going to get your way and Sam and I are going to get a divorce. You did it. I hope that you're happy because I never, ever want anything to do with you or him ever again, as long as I live. Now, good luck supporting Sam when he makes so little on his own. And whatever happens next, leave me out of it. Tiara, are you there? I was just hoping that you and I could chat about something really urgently. I tried calling you earlier, but you didn't answer. Are you busy right now? I really do need to talk to you about this. I am busy, and I don't want to hear your voice, even if I wasn't. If you have something that you want to say to me, you can type it out here. Thank you very much. Tiara, come on. Why are you acting this way towards me? We're family, aren't we? You should know better than this family. Us? <laughs> That's very funny. But no, we're not family. Just hurry up and tell me what you want already. Well, the thing is that I talked to Sam about you moving out and all and the divorce. I really hope that you told him the part where you threw away all of my things and basically left me with no other option but to leave. Well, the thing is that Sam and I were talking about all of this, right? And I mentioned to him about what you told me with his lack of money and all. And, well, it's true. I know that I was the one who told you about that in the first place, and you just kept insisting that I was lying to you, remember? Is that what you came to talk to me about? Because I've already told you the whole truth, and I don't have anything else to say to you. I was honest with you through and through, and you just refused to listen to me. I know. I didn't listen. But I just... I didn't believe it. I was sure that there was some kind of error going on. But then, Sam explained it all to me. And it was only then that I realized you were being honest with me. Well, I'm glad that you've learned that I've been nothing but honest with you over this. But just how many times did you make me explain this to you? You didn't listen to me. You didn't believe me. You ignored all that I was trying to tell you. This is all your fault. So I really have no idea why we're even talking right now. I just... Ugh, I mean... I thought that you were spending all your nights out of the house partying or something while Sam was working hard to fund your lifestyle. I was just trying to be a good mother and protect my son. Surely you can understand that, right? I understand that I explained the truth to you over and over again, and you just never listened to me at all. But I don't see how any of this has anything to do with me at all now. I know. But you can just stop all this and go back to the way things were, can't you? What do you mean, go back to the way things were? You mean you want me to pretend like none of the past few days happened? You can't be serious about that, right? I just mean that Sam is so angry with me right now. He's really, really mad. He keeps going on about how it's my fault that you want to leave him. Because he's telling me that he doesn't want a divorce at all. He doesn't want any of this to be happening. So please, can we just put all this nonsense behind us and go back to the way things were? I realize now that I may have made a blunder here. You really are one of the most selfish people I have ever met, you know that? I mean, you were the one who threw away my things and now you want me to come back? Oh, don't worry. I did my best to get back as much of your stuff as I could. Of course, I sold a lot of your clothes, so those are gone forever, I'm afraid. But I have a bunch of boxes in the house with your name on them. If I return your things to you, will you please not leave my son like this? Oh, well, thank you so much for getting my stuff. But the answer is still no. We're going to get a divorce and that is final. Please. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. I can't take care of my son. I thought that was going to be your job from now on. Luciana wouldn't stop harassing me on my phone, and I finally had to tell her in no uncertain terms that I was going to block her number and that she would be facing legal consequences for what she did with my belongings. Even Sam tried to contact me and plead with me to come back, but even he eventually gave up and agreed to sign the divorce papers that I sent him. The next month, he couldn't pay the rent for our old apartment and was evicted. 
He told his mom that since this was all her doing, that he would be crashing at her place for the foreseeable future. As for me, after Luciana threw away my things, I packed up what I had left and moved to a new place and made sure that neither of them knew where I was living. Although I have heard from some mutual friends that Luciana and Sam are arguing every single night, as Sam refuses to look for a job and expects that his mom pays for everything he needs, it seems like she's finally realized what a lazy parasite her son is, but I'm afraid that it's far too late for her to do anything about that now.